Hello. Hope everyone's had a happy new year. We did. Um, we are now on our way to Ambleside. I think it's about 100, 180 think. miles. Going via Manchester, uh, again to see my mum, have a meal at TGI Fridays, all that sort of caper. <clears throat> um, but we, we've wanted to do a range test on the car, on the, on the 60, just to see what usage we can get out of the battery. You probably will get more, uh, more than 60 kilowatt hours, but you always get the regen as well. So what you regenerate isn't, isn't uh, uh, battery capacity. But when we recharge it, we can certainly see what's going back into the battery. So um, we're gonna run it out. Uh, we, I don't know if we're gonna actually run it completely out, but we're gonna run it as close to as we can get. Um, so hopefully it'll be, uh, it'll be an interesting video. We've got a friend who's got a recovery truck. Um, and uh, he said he'll come out anywhere. <laughs> so, let's see how it goes. See you there. Hello. We have arrived in Manchester. We have done 102.3 miles. Um, it took ages. It's been horrendous. The traffic's been awful. Um, but we've used 32.8 kilowatt hours. When we went over 30 kilowatt hours, we had done 92 miles, I think. So working out about 185 miles for 60 kilowatts. Um, so there, there was some driving there that was 75, 80, there was some that was 70, um, but there was also some that was 50, because there's, there's quite a few roadworks on the way up to Manchester, so. But that's um, kind of real, isn't it? Yeah, that's it is, it is real world. Happen. So um, we're gonna stop and have dinner at TGI Fridays. Very starving. All paid for. And uh, then we'll be back. We will, we'll see you in a bit. We have got 37% left on the battery and a projected range of, wait for it, 110 miles. Well, we know that's not going to happen. Um, but we have got 80, how many have we got? 86 miles 86, to get to Ambleside. 86 miles to get to Ambleside. So if we can do that on one charge, that will be a total of 188.3 miles. So let's give it a bash. Let's see what happens. See you there. We are at Charnock Richard Supercharger. Oh, no. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know if you heard that, that sounded bad. So we are supercharging. Um, we had a plan the other night, which was we were gonna run the car out of juice. However, that didn't quite work out. So we decided that as the weather got terrible, it started to rain. We had images of us sat on the side of the road, freezing our asses off, we thought, nah. So we decided to go to Ambleside and, and have a nice time there, which is what we did. Um, and we decided we'd run out on the way home. So we are now heading to Chester. We're going to, to Chester. To see Kate's dad from where we are now. Um, and then we are going to head to home. Well, we're going to head south, aren't we? Yeah. We'll probably end up going past home. Yeah, I think so. I, the problem is the car goes quite a lot further than we thought. So I have a feeling that actually we'll be breaking down somewhere down near Northampton. Which so, works out quite well, because yeah. there is a supercharger there. Oh. So we've fully charged to 100%, I'll just take a quick picture of it. We have got 251 miles. That ain't gonna happen. That's high actually. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen. But um, we're not, this isn't, necessarily to see how far it goes it's it, what we're trying to do is see what we can get out of the battery in terms of kilowatt hours so on that charge there i think it took 54 or 57 i can't remember um but uh it, it's it's took quite a lot so and we still had seven percent when when we pulled in here mm. 
Um, we have had to climb it on though, so that that would have um, that would have been some of the uh, the charge of the charge. Bit. Yeah. So, right, we'll see. Let's go, Chester. Distance of fifty-four miles, forty-nine minutes. So we will see you there. Just as long as you know this land is mine. We've just arrived at my dad's in Guildenstern in Chester. Um, sat nav was originally saying 54 miles, but it, it, it actually worked it out to be about 45 in the end. So we've 40, been 46. 46. We've averaged about 297 watt hours per mile on the way down. We've done about 70 most of the way um, on the motorways. Um, I'll hand you over to James now for the rest of this bit. He can tell you what the other figures are. 297 watt hours per mile. That, that's incredible. And that was a genuine 70, that was a heater on. One thing I will say is, um, when we previously started this experiment, we were gonna start with a cold battery, uh, but we've started with a fully warm battery, and I wonder if that's making a difference, because it's not a go through, It's not had to go through that preheating cycle. Um, but yeah, 297 watt hours per mile, 13.7 um, kilowatt hours, uh, for 46 miles. So um, yeah, that's, um, that's done well. At that rate, I mean, that's, took that's 76 percent so it's just, let's say quarter of a battery at that rate that's 4 8 12 16 6 12 18 24 that's 184 miles per uh, per charge so um yeah pretty good temperatures eight degrees was about six when we started so um mm. who knows and from here i mean to get to our house we're looking at 94 miles yeah, it's not, um, not going to get back there, to Heatley, it? so it's not going to be run out by then. So we will be going further, but we yeah. don't know where to. It's going to be a long day, I feel. We have just left Kate's dad's house in Gildan Sutton, um, and now, well, we don't really know where we're going. We've got 91 miles to get home. Um, we've got. 75% battery left, so I, I don't know where we're going to get to, but it's saying we're going to get home with 22%. So In one hopefully, mile, fingers take crossed. The third exit from the roundabout and follow the A51. So hopefully, um, no, we're not sure where we're going. We're just driving. And see where it takes us. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah. See what happens. We'll head past our house towards the supercharger. Yeah. And then hopefully then wherever we end up having to be picked up or whatever happens, we'll be uh, we'll be near the supercharger. See you Bye. there. We are in the roadworks because it seems to be roadworks everywhere. Um, we've used 25 kilowatt hours exactly and we've done 81 miles exactly. Apparently we've averaged on this part of the journey 321 watt hours per mile and on the other bit of the journey 309 watt hours per mile. However we, we've been going a little bit faster uh, out of the roadworks now back up to 70 so all good. Altogether, 307 watt hours per mile, 
on this part of the journey, 313 watt hours per mile, just to show you that it's not, um, can you put that video for us? Really? Yeah. And just to show you that um, that is absolutely what we're doing. 314 there for our journey since. Just doing a bit of a shaky video for you. And 308 for the complete journey. Autopilot's on at 70. Now then, um, what I will say is, we have had a couple of roadworks. The M6 is plagued with roadworks. We have been down to 50 at some points. Not for long, but for some points. Um, we've had um, uh, a couple of very slow drivers that we were stuck behind on the way coming from Chester, so that's obviously helped. But um, uh, yeah, I think it's it's five degrees. I think 314 watt hours per mile at the moment is doing uh, is doing really well. Okay, we have got 61 miles left on the battery. We have currently covered 143 miles. Um, we've, that's it, I don't know what else to say. Well, we just, we just worked out, didn't we, what, yeah, yeah. what roughly what it would be if we, if we carry on as we are. It's looking like it would do about 188, we just worked out, but that may change because we've got different speed limits and things between here and Northampton, so. Well, it's, uh, yeah, so far, uh, 144 miles now, um, and 31 to go, 60 on the range. Who knows? <laughs> Do we know? So far, 180.9 miles or 181 miles. Um, we've used 54.2 kilowatts and it's telling us we have 17 miles of range left. So we're gonna leave the video on and just see how far we get.
tried to run it out and what we've realised is it's really difficult to do. So we've given up and we're now at the supercharger. So I will hand over to James and he can tell you what's happened. Okay, so 200, 201 miles or 200.7 miles, 60.1 kilowatt hours and it still hadn't run out. It had said that the battery power was very low and the heat in the air conditioning had been reduced, but there's definitely still some in there. Um, I've took a picture of it anyway. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna uh, have a look at how many kilowatts it takes, how many kilowatt hours it takes to recharge it, because I've got a sneaky suspicion it'll be taking a little bit more than that. I think it'll be taking 62, maybe 63, but. And we're not gonna be in it, we're gonna, so we won't be using the heating Yeah, so anything. let's turn it off now. The, um, so the heater's off and the air con, the heater seats are off and the air conditioning's off, so just gonna be the car on its own. We're gonna go and grab a coffee and uh, we'll see what it does. So it does say zero miles, but it said zero miles for about the last five miles. <laughs> we have driven and driven and uh, driven down yeah. the same roads about a hundred times trying to run it out and it's, it's yeah. impossible. I, I, I didn't want to be sat on the side of the motorway. I mean, one, one because you don't want, you, Tesla don't want to see their cars sat on the side of the motorway broken down, especially when it's not their fault. It's rush hour. And it's down to a pair of idiots who just decided it's a good idea to run it out. So. We thought the best thing to do was get it as close as we could and then we drove around the local roads, admittedly not particularly quick, 30, 40 miles an hour and it's dropped to 299 watt hours per mile but it's still managing 310, 315, 320 at 70 miles an hour on the motorway and that's incredible, that's really, really incredible but we've just done 207 miles on one charge so I'd say if you want to do 180, I think that's that's easily achievable. Okay, let's get it charged. Sorry about the dingy lighting. It's uh, it's a bit dark now. It is 7:34. We've just finished charging to 100%. The car has drawn 62.5 kilowatt hours, so anybody who's got a 60 like us can be rest assured. New 60. New 60. New 60. We rest assured that you do have at least 62.5 um, on, on your Tesla, so that's really good news. Um, and we've driven all the way with heated seats on, normally on three at least, each side, yeah, yeah. and the heater on. So we've just driven it normally, we've not drove it slowly or changed the way we drive. No, it's had, it's had a good mix, I think. We've had good good motorway, mm. A roads, uh, housing estate, I suppose, if that counts. Um, but yeah, it's uh, done an amazing job. Bit of reassurance for you, if you think you're about to run out. You're not, because we didn't. <laughs> we didn't have to call the AA. That's true, we didn't have to call the AA. Um, we considered it, um, we considered the, the options, and we decided that it's not Tesla's fault, um, that uh, that the car was going to break down. Um, it's not the car's fault. Uh, it's actually our fault. Um, so we were going to use our own AA account, not the because the, I think the AA look after Tesla anyway. Um, but we've got our own breakdown cover, so we were going to use that. But then we thought the trouble that people would have to go to, if we can get it as near as we can, I think we'll be okay with that. Yeah. Anyway, it wants to be sat on the side of the road, especially when it's two degrees. On your day off. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you next time.